Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my weekly chat. So this week was a fantastic week in the world of makeup. Just a great week overall. We've just been very productive, I guess you could say. Um, I finalized getting my daughter um, set up in her new school. She's going to school for the first time, and so it's exciting. It is exciting. It's just a little bit like, okay, this is becoming reality. Um, and just my husband's really busy with his work, and so I've been really diving headfirst into my channel because I have a lot more me time because he's pretty much, you might as well say he's deployed because he's not really ever here. And when he is here, he's busy studying. So um, anyways, I've just been really busy with my channel, and um, I don't know, just busy that way. Um, I've been busy enjoying cooking again. And um, once again, we got the Home Chef this week. And I think it's just such a fun service. Like my husband and I have so much fun with it. It arrives at your door and everything's pre-packaged and pre-portioned and pre-done for you. <laughs> I mean, you gotta chop your own vegetables and whatever, but it's fun to try new recipes. I don't know about you, but I get in such a rut. And especially with kids, like they only like certain things and they don't necessarily eat everything that we make. So it's fun for Justin and I also to buy, like get things buy the meals um, that we, of new recipes we'd like to try. So we have fun with that. We did that again this week. And I think he likes it because he, he likes cooking. And it's like you are a chef at home. And because it's got all, it's, it's great for a man because, I don't know about your man, but my man, he, he does well with recipes. So if you give him a new recipe, he'll follow all the directions and make it. So it's just ideal for our family. So we did that. And speaking of recipes, I... I'm thinking about once my daughter gets in school and in the future when my son eventually goes to school, um, I do plan on continuing YouTube for as long as you will support me. Um, I'd like to do more like cooking things on my channel, but I'm not sure how it will work with <sighs> microphones and stuff. I'd, I think I'd probably have to buy one of those ones that clip to your shirt so that the cooking noises aren't so loud. But anyways, um, would that be something you'd be interested in? Kind of like a chat and me cook and chat with you kind of thing. Um, I don't know. I just had it. I just thought it would be kind of fun. Now, back in the day when I started my channel, um, I did start with some cooking type videos, like a "What's in My Kitchen" series. I might have to bring that back. Um, I just feel like I need to really be true to who I am, and it's so easy to, like I've said a hundred times, it's easy to be influenced by what other people are doing. But I really just want to focus on like what I want to put out there too, you know what I mean? So, all right, let's get in the favorites because I am on a time crunch because we're leaving in 20 minutes. I'm like, I don't know if I can film a video in 20 minutes. Um, we're headed to church this morning. So anyways, all right, so let's start with my wine. The Dark Horse Big Red Blend is what I, actually I had another one, a uh, white one, but I it was the uh, one I had brought to you a couple weeks ago. Repurchased it because it was fabulous. This is the original Dark Horse Big Red Blend. This one's very sweet. Um, well, not super sweet. Okay, I shouldn't say that. It's sweeter to me than some other reds that I typically drink. But this one is dark berry, black currant, um, plush tannins, hints of dark roasted oak, and a long finish. It's very delicious. It's very easy drinking. Um, this is... I put this in the category for a red wine of like my porch walker, ro rocker, porch rocker wine. Something that you can drink um, and not be too bitter or need to eat something with it. It's just really enjoyable. So that was delicious. Um, I have some body things this week. Actually, just one thing, but another kind of face thing. But let's talk about this. The Bobbi Brown Beach um, Body Scrub. I use this on my knees, feet elbows and if I really screw up on myself tanner I'll use this all over my body but it is the epitome of summer and um, I never actually smelled this perfume until this year or last year just because I never really paid attention to it first of all and it's always out in the summertime I don't think they keep this out year round but oh my gosh and a little goes a, a long way because it's very creamy and very finely milled body scrub it's not big chunks like the Tree Hut one is. Now, this costs more than the Tree Hut one, but if you're looking for a great summer gift for somebody, this is this is lovely. The Bobbi Brown Beach, now you can buy this. She has a perfume, and I don't know what else she has in this beach scent, but it's the epitome of summer. It just takes me back to the summer I was working. I, would, I, I waitressed, and so I had, during the day, I would hang out with my friends on the lake, and 
suntan and sunbathe all day <laughs> and this just takes me back to those scents you know um, but it's really lovely I really enjoy it it's like really nice and luxurious and it looks so pretty I like her simple logo quite frankly um, so I wanted to share that with you and let's kind of stick with face here while we're at it oops oh crap I didn't mean to turn this on um, <laughs> my Clarisonic I've had this one for several years and I put this away for about a year and a half, a year and a half or so. I don't know why, I just quit using it. But since I came here, unpacked my stuff, and I feel like when you move and unpack and reorganize your things, it's a great opportunity to rediscover things and um, start using things you forgot about or whatever. And speaking of that, you guys gave me that idea of making a video of products you rediscovered while you moved or, or something, or whatever. So next Saturday, I'm going to film a video of products that I either rediscovered or forgot about and I'm just going to use, get, do a get ready with me and use those things. So it'll be like throwback to old and new favorites, I guess. But anyways, um, I've been using this every night and I really have seen a difference in my skin. It really gets all the junk out of your pores. I don't have blackheads right now. I mean, I'm also using this in conjunction with great skincare. Um, but I feel like when you wear makeup every day, it's really important to cleanse your skin, get all that stuff off of your face so you're not going to sleep on it because that will cause irritation. It'll cause breakouts and blackheads and sometimes little bumps and you just, all kinds of gross things you don't want in your, living on your face, you know what I mean? So I think a Clarisonic is worth the investment. I use the Sensitive Head. I won't show you mine because I need to buy a new one. You're supposed to replace it every three months and I can't remember when I put this on, so that's not a good thing. Um, <laughs> but anyways, um, the VIB sale in the fall, put this on your list or check out QVC. They often do today's special values and that's where I got mine. So this print was from QVC a few years back, but I just wanted to share that because I've been, I've been using this nightly since um, beginning of June and I, I just love it. Now let's talk about my nail polish. So, what's today, Friday? Last Saturday, I had showed you that I purchased this nail polish called Essie Ladylike, and it is great. It is a great neutral, I won't show you this hand because I painted my nails last night and my husband wanted to go and do something, play cards with the neighbors, and I painted my nails and then I didn't give them time to dry and I nicked them and they look like crap, but I'll show you this hand. Um, it is a great mauve, nude now it's not too warm it's actually kind of cool undertone which works great with my skin and the reason it's matte is because i decided to put the opi matte top coat over it and my husband i asked him what he thought of it he's like it's different and i'm like yeah it is isn't it i kind of like it i don't know i usually love really shiny things but i seen um i seen a post on pinterest you know how they always have the nail really long claws with the matte nail polish and all these beautiful rings and you're like, ooh, I wanna try that, so I did. It is nice. Um, I did two coats, didn't I? I probably could have gotten away with a third one on this nail. Um, it was a little, um, little streaky, but not terrible. The color is worth it, it's fabulous, great nude. There's that. I wanted to share this perfume with you. This is what I'm wearing today. I'm sorry if, ooh, sorry if I'm kinda rushing, but we literally have to leave in 14 minutes, so. <laughs> Um, I'm trying not to be too long-winded today, um, but I know I always put out a Friday video that's a good solid 20 minutes, so we'll try to hit that today. Um, Ralph Lauren Tender Romance, this is what I'm wearing today. I love this. It's so sweet, but not like cotton candy or like a juvenile sweet. It's a very mature sweet, I think. Not that you couldn't wear this if you were 16, because you could, and if you are 16 and you buy this, I think you have great taste. Um, I just, I don't know, there's a lot There's a lot going on in here. I'll, I will li list the notes, because I can't remember. Um, but it's sweet, but alluring, and just romantic. I really enjoy it. The bottle is really pretty. I love perfume. I love perfume bottles. I love how they sit, are displayed. They're just, I just... I love them. Okay, so that's a great perfume. Now let's get into the makeup because I do have a lot to say and I worry I won't be able to say it all. I always write notes too because I think of things throughout the week and I'm like, oh, I got to remember to tell them that. You know, it's not, I guess I could pop on Snapchat and say it. So that's a great place to find me during the week and Instagram as well. I do like to post pictures. So um, follow me on those two if you ever want to know what the heck I'm doing. Um, let's start with face. 
All right, I have an update, actually. I'm gonna do this in one. Saturday, I had showed you a few Wayne Goss brushes that I picked up, and I've been using them this week, and I gotta tell you guys, these two brushes you just need to purchase. The third one that I bought is limited edition, and I'm not sure if it's available right now, and it's that airbrush. I did use this today and again, and I really enjoy it, but these two, the Wayne Goss number 14. <sighs> This brush is so soft. It blends so well. What I did today with it was I put on my foundation and then I set my foundation with the Laura Mercier Mineral Powder. Okay, so this is a mineral foundation you could use on its own, but I used it on top of my foundation. So I wanted to use a brush that would not move my foundation around as I'm buffing in the powder foundation. And in the past, I've used a Sephora brush which works, but it's denser and I feel like it moves things around more than I would like. And that's the um, Pro Airbrush number 55. This is perfection. It's, it's light enough yet dense enough that it applies the product but yet buffs it at the same time. And it just, this is what you want to use if you're going to do a mineral foundation or if you're going to set your face, it just, Nothing moved, and I was so scared to go on top of it with powder, but nothing moved. This was perfection. I love this brush. I highly recommend this brush. It's it's soft. It, it's I don't know. You don't you can get such a light movement with it too, because the brush isn't too heavy. Even though the handle is shorter, I like that it's not super long, because I feel like if it's too long, you're out of control with it. But if it's too short, you're you're too close up. Choke, you're choking. <laughs> You're choking up on it too much and you just, it's its too much friction, you know? Perfect. Love that. The other brush that I bought is his Wayne, is his Wayne, oh my word. Number 15, his fan brush. This is perfection for highlighter. It applies it, it sweeps it, it blends it, it feels so soft. Um, it's, it's thick enough that you can get product on there and blend it out it's not too flimsy where you pick up the highlighter you put it on and it like skips and it doesn't blend because there's not enough bristles to blend it out you know what I mean this is perfection and the highlighter I'm wearing today is champagne pop yeah I mean the glow I have today is just phenomenal <laughs> I'm really loving it um champagne pop is a beautiful beautiful highlighter and right now I'm self tanned so I think for medium skin tone this is banging and I understand why she made it because she's usually self tanned and she likes these colors um but on medium skin tone this looks phenomenal when I'm more fair it does show up more yellow I don't love it but when I'm self tanned this is the one I really reach for especially when I'm wearing like peachy colors because I feel like it just plays really well. So this is another perfect combo that I discovered and oh, you just need. Alrighty, I also straightened my hair today which I never wear my hair straight. I used to, um, but I actually need a haircut. So I don't like to wear it straight because it shows all the layers and if they need to be fixed it can get kind of thick through here for me anyways. So okay. For my blush today, I dug out the Tom Ford Flush, and I tell you what, guys, this is just so beautiful. It's very pigmented, so a little goes a long way. This will last you forever, forever. This one is totally worth, this is the only one I purchased. The other one was gifted to me that I have, but this one I love, and I would recommend this one. Now, I've seen the other ones, but they just didn't scream to me that I needed it. I felt like this one was more unique and just more fun. And if you're going to splurge on a blush, get something that, I don't know, it just gives a good amount of color. It's fun. I don't know. I just feel like I love it. <laughs> so Tom Ford Flush is a great peachy, corally, summery, spring, fall, winter, I need color on my face blush. Love it. Um, let's stick with, I'm sorry, I'm playing with my hair. I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't have an excuse that I need to share with you. I just am bothered by it right now. Um, these, I've been using these every day for the past two weeks, really. Three weeks, maybe. Um, 
basically since I, I was watching somebody and they were explaining about these powders and I'm like, yeah, I have those powders. I need to use them. So ever since I dug them out, I use them every time I put my makeup on and I'm smitten. The Hourglass uh, Ambient Lighting Powders. I feel like I bought these because they were new at the time, number one. Number two, everyone was buying them, so I felt like I needed to buy them too. But when you're not really educated on how to use something, you're not going to grab for it. You know what I mean? You don't have the confidence to know how to use it right, so it just sits there because you're unsure. Or you use it and you're not using it correctly, and so you feel like it looks like it's making your makeup look worse or something, and that's the exact opposite of what it's supposed to do. So sometimes I feel like I, when I educate myself on something, I'm more up to use it. And I've educated myself on these, and I love them. Um, the Mood Light. I've been wearing a lot. I'm not wearing this one today because I wanted to wear some others. Um, this one helps with disguising redness. This casts like a moonlit glow to your face. Um, and so they're supposed to mimic different types of light. So that was that one. This is a trio. Of course, this was limited edition, but you can purchase, um, I think they made incandescent permanent, but I'm not sure at the time it was limited. So. I'm not sure, but I mixed incandescent and dim today, and I actually used the Wayne Goss airbrush to sweep these over my makeup here when I was finished, and they're just beautiful. You know, it just really finishes your makeup, um, almost fills in all of your pores, gives you an airbrushed appearance, and casts just a soft undescribable thing, and if you go to Sephora and you swatch these, you're not going to get it. They're not going to swatch well. Um, it's what happens when they apply to your face. And they're one of those products you just have to buy and try. Now, if you end up not liking it, Sephora has a fabulous return policy. Um, I love them. I would recommend trying them. Okay, that's that. All right, now we have lips and eyes. And I have something itching my nose. So, they're um, cream, creme, summer, blah, blah. Cream number 702 eyelashes. Pretty much a, a dead on dupe for the House of Lashes Siren. I love those lashes. I've been wearing these nonstop. These are, I think, $1.99. They're under $2 a piece. I've worn this. I should have zoomed you in. I guess I'll zoom you in for the eyes and lips portion here. I've been wearing these lashes. I've worn them three, four times so far since I got them. And they're still holding up well just as many times as my House of Lashes. So yeah, you need to pick yourself up some of these. They also are on the website. I purchased them from ikatehouse.com, I think, or some other website I got them from. I can't remember. I'll link it below. But it's buy five pairs, get the sixth, sixth pair free. <sighs> Phenomenal. Now, did my color get better when I zoomed you in? Now I fear I looked like crap this whole time. Whatever. So, the end of last week, um, I believe it was on Friday, I, my friend texts me and she's like, do you have NARS Outer Limits? I'm like, yeah, I, I searched high and low for that eyeshadow. Oh no, I fear that my bracelet has been making noise this whole time. I'm sorry if it was. Um, I've been, I searched high and low for that eyeshadow. It was limited edition a couple, last summer, last summer. Well, guess what? They've now made it permanent and they have added four or five other shades to the range and I purchased one and I'm go it hasn't arrived yet but I'm gonna do a uh, makeup breakdown for you this upcoming week using it um, so that's what's on my eyelids it's glittery okay so I do rec if you're gonna do it maybe you should do your eyes first I didn't and I do have a couple glitter pieces in here um, I kind of tried to buff it out with this brush um, it didn't freak me out or anything, so I'm just a little bit fairy princess-like today. Um, it's so pretty. I applied it dry today. I've applied it wet as well. Today I used the um, Sigma Medium Sweeper E54 brush. Just kind of shimmied that in there and then patted it like this on my eyelid. You could use a synthetic brush and spray it with water or Fix Plus or something as well. That's how I applied it. It does get more of like a foiled, metallic-y wet look that way. This way is just a little bit more glittery, but it's so cool. It's like this pinky, peachy, reflect, shimmer, deliciousness. And this is the color Outer Limit. So it is permanent now. Don't you hate when they do that? They like, you got to search high and low for it. 
and then they make it permanent. Probably because they want to see if people want it. And if people really want it, then they're like, all right, we'll make a bunch so they can actually get it. Um, so, so anyways, that's what's on my eyes, and I've worn that a few times, and it is stunning. I'm sorry if my bracelet made an annoying, loud noise this week. I hope it didn't, because some of you will let me know it did. Um, and when I talk, I don't hear other things. All I hear is me talking, you know? Lipstick. All right, so the first lipstick I showed you yesterday in yesterday's Makeup Breakdown. And... You need this color. <laughs> if you like cool toned pinks, you're gonna love this. This is the Laura Mercier Creme Smooth Lip Color in the shade Antique Pink. And when they say creme smooth, it is. It's very moisturizing, very hydrating. It is a little bit more sheer of a color, but you can build it up. But And if you wear it with a lip liner, then the lip liner will give you more saturated color, especially if you kind of fill your lips in with it. But this is what it looks like in the tube. I'll give you a little swatch here. I'm sorry I didn't swatch anything, I just realized I am wearing the things though. So there's the Laura Mercier lipstick. Just freaking phenomenal. Love it. And then my lip combo is a lip combo that I like to wear in the spring a lot and summer. It's the uh, Dior lip liner in the shade Boys de Rose. Looks like this. These are creamy. Really nice. You can wear this color if you wanted with this lip liner. It just would warm it up a bit. Because this is um, a little bit cooler. Neutral to cool. Not too, not too bad. And then that is the uh, rose lip liner. Which this is a beautiful uh, rosy colored lip liner if you like to wear those shades. And then on my lips is this lipstick which I love. This is YSL's uh, Rouge Volupte number 29. I believe it's called Opera Rose. Packaging. Can't even deal. Ah, oh, so creamy. These are so creamy. And they, they leave a nice shine to your lips, too. You don't even need gloss. I mean, if you're going to go drink something, this is going to come off. They're not long-lasting, but they're not meant to be. Oh, those colors. Lovely colors. And the last thing I wanted to share with you guys was my outfit. So I'll insert a picture of my outfit. I love a good pair of nude heels. I love, love the pants that I'm wearing. They are from Isaac Mizrahi. They are like... They're, they feel like you're wearing yoga pants, but they're a dress pant, and they have an elastic waistband, and they're phenomenal. And then my shirt is from, its I don't think its you'll be able to find it, right? Well, maybe at a boutique, but it is from a boutique. Um, Jane.com, I ordered this last year, but maybe they have it now, or maybe there's a boutique online that has it. I'll search high and low on the inter internet and see if I can find one. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm sorry I was kind of quick. But I underestimated how much time I talk and um, we have to run. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and check out yesterday's video if you missed it. And any other previous videos, they're always linked down below and in, in my channel and whatever. And I will see you tomorrow morning for Chit Chatter Day. So have a great day, guys. I love you so much and we'll chat soon. Bye.